Right. Harley WLA lifters, roller lifters and tappet blocks. The way the system works is your camshaft goes up and down, yeah, rotates and pushes that roller lifter up and down, yeah? Yep. That hits on the end of the valve. So that's going up and down from the cam operation. So the first thing you want to check this is all for about noisy lifters, yeah? Because okay. they, they are rattly anyway, but you can get really bad. Obviously, make sure that your cam bearings, that, that face sits in and that face sits in. One's in the outer cover, one's in the engine casing. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're not horrifically worn. Um, you do get play in them, but ideally you want one without tolerance. Um, it, generally, they will be more than that, and it can be an absolute pig of a job to line everything up. But if you have to do it, you have to do it. Right, so that, basically, as your cam goes round, it pushes that roller lifter up and down, and the valve sits on there, yeah? So yeah. it pushes your valve up and down, let the gases in or out. Yeah. Be it inlet or exhaust, it doesn't matter which. Right, your two main problems with them is that is an old adjuster, a lifter. Can you see that dent in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that... Is where your valve's been pushing up and down. You have to have tolerance, so you have four thou or six thou inlet or exhaust, yeah? Six thou on the exhaust, four thou on the inlet. So that's banging up and down like that. Now when you adjust these with your feeler gauges, I'll do it with a thick one so it's easier to see. It doesn't matter what you do with that dent in there, yeah? You're trying to measure the gap between that valve stem and there, yeah? Yeah. So you want, you say it's inlet 4 thou, yeah? So you're putting that feeder gauge in there. Yeah. Okay? But you're reading that as four thousandths of an inch. But the valve is going down into that dent, so it's not four thousandths of an inch. Got you. It'll be bigger. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why they rattle badly. So, new ones. Nice and smooth, ground flat, case hardened, yeah? Because mm -hmm. what people do, I've done it before just to get us out of shit. You see the difference in the height of those two? Yeah. So what people do is that one, which is taller, would have a big dent in it, so you grind it down. It's a, it's a get you by fix, but it won't last because the case hardening is only microns thick. You've ground off the case hardening. Yeah. So then that makes that soft and it will just punch another hole in it. But it's a get you out of jail quickly fix if you want to do that. Yeah. The second thing is the rollers, these, it's very hard to see, but they get worn out, okay? So that's got a load of play in it. They'll all be, some will be tighter than others. Well, that one's really bad, mm. yeah? That one's really, really bad. And that one's really, really bad. So, you get yourself said, tap it repair roller kit, roller, roller tap it repair kit. Okay. Okay? So you can see it in there. Be very careful when you open it, because they all fall apart. Right, so that one is complete. That one is complete. That one's got a roller missing, and the other one's fallen apart completely. So in your kit, you get an inner, your needle rollers, your outer, and a new pin for the middle, yeah? Okay. So what you've got to do is get those out. They can either come out very easily, or they're an absolute pig of a thing to get out. So what you've got to do first of all is grind off where it's been smudged over. Yeah. Okay? So just take your normal grinder, smooth it out. Right, so that's that ground, yeah? So what you've got to do basically is you try and punch them out, okay? Mm -hmm. If they won't punch out, sometimes you have to put them on the press, but what you've got to be careful of doing is compressing those two sides. Yeah. So then you won't get your new roller in. So um, you can redo them by grinding them, but because there's nothing, no tolerance, you know, the, the, 
you're not gonna ruin anything by having sideways slop on it as such. You don't want much, but they all have a little bit. So what you've got to try and do is get something, small socket, small bit of tube, that will allow you to tap that through as, as such, you know? Are you working on your bike at home and just need a little bit of advice? Book a 15 minute call with Ash at a convenient time, and he may just be able to point you in the right direction. For more information, visit Restore.com. Right, okay, so a couple of punches. And let's see what damage we can do on this. Right, let's get a hammer. You want to put that on there? That on there? Let's see if it's going to move at all. Move slightly. Oh, I think what I'll do is just bung that in the lathe quickly and turn down that diameter, yeah? Probably a thin enough wall now to clear the side of the tappet lifter. Right, so that should clear our wall there now, yeah? Let's give it another punch. Right, that's not wanting to move. So you don't really want to grind any more off of it. It's probably because we're not getting purchase and that's sliding. Just moved a bit, so we need to put something under there. Right, that's now hitting solid on the base, yeah? So we'll try again. Oh dear. Definitely need more hands. Do you mean to hold it? No, that isn't going to come out of there, so we're going to have to somehow. Is that unusual or is that no. quite normal? No, it's quite normal. You don't want to grind too much off of these faces though, that's the issue. It's because the the original, see the new ones, yeah? You can just peen them over with a centre dot. Yeah. These, they've been stamped in that way on a cross look. It's much, much harder to get them out. Put ball bearing in there. See where that material is soft look, so it's just bent out of shit. Right. So I'm gonna have to make something else up to try and do it. with them before they normally just bang out. The diameter of that pin is massively larger than that. Yeah. So either these or different rollers, but they're all the same as far as I'm aware. So you're trying to dremel that edge out so you can get down to the actual diameter size and then it should punch out. All right, that did something. So it's just once you've got that lip out of the way, it should go, you know? Once they start, they'll just come yeah, out. Yeah. So what you're trying to get, if you don't dremel it, you see how much that's been punched over? 
that countersunk bit there. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, so you never punch that through. So you have to dremel it round, then that'll allow you to punch it through, yeah? And the idea is basically not to beat the shit out of it because you're going to end up breaking the lifter. How or who or why would it have been smudged over then? Well, that's Harley Factory, that's been there since 1943 or whatever. Okay. Yeah, they've just been on a big long production line, just got a big pneumatic press and just gone. <laughs> and that's it. Right, see, that's the old style. There's actually no needle rollers in them, they're just metal on metal. Yeah. So it doesn't, what you do, that's gonna, always going to wear out. New roller, new pin. Okay. Tap it through a little bit more. You put that on your hard block, now you can give it a f***ing good wallop. Okay, so that's smudged him, turn him over. And that's it. So it is meant to be smudged over to keep oh, it Oh yeah, in. it's meant to be smudged over, but just obviously they do it a lot more from factory. Yeah. So now you've got Nice free wheel, no play. Basically, you just got to go through the same situation with all the rest of them. But once you've taken that out the top of there, yeah. and you've taken that out of there, and your cam bearings are okay. Get a true reading then. Then, well, it, you won't stop one rattling. It's just the way they are. It's the, it's the material that the barrels are made of and the valves. With new, well, I mean, this has had new valve guides. It's had everything new, you know. But you'll never stop that noise. When that valve's dry and it hits it, it's that Harley thing that okay. you get in the engine you won't get rid of it it's, it's the materials that they're made of you just can't stop it making that noise that you'll never get one to run quietly tap it wise okay but you can alleviate a lot of the noise by doing that perfect i'm not sure if the wldrs and the racing ones had needle rollers on all of these i think some of them did but the only way you'll get it all to not wear out is replace every bearing with needle rollers like that yeah wherever it is on the whole engine. Um, but, again, we go through this scenario quite a lot. They weren't designed for that. Yeah. They were designed to be run up and down a field, get shot at, blow up, throw it away. You know, that's what they were designed to do.